Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7 Part 2, Serpentile. Alright, um... Let's actually, uh... I don't think we can, uh, um... Get into this place just yet, so, um... Excuse me. Let's, uh, bypass it for now. Uh, we'll head up this way. Oh. Hello? You just gave me a pot. Well, we found a camp here of some sort. Hey, there's someone to talk to. Hello, lady. My name is Beryl. I am so glad that thou hast met me privately. We cannot speak for long lest Dragon or his minions find us. I live in fear of Dragon and his terrible power. Who the hell is this Dragon person? Uh, afraid? Of the two score settlers who came to this place led by Dragon, only three of us survive, and the other two work for him. Dragon burned the ship and left the others to die. I know he played a part in the death of mine husband as well. Oh my. Well, this is... This is definitely not, uh, uh, good news. Um, other two? Beware them. They follow Dragon's orders unquestioningly. They would even kill at his word. Uh, tell me about this burned ship. One of the setter settlers, Falcon, wanted to leave the settlement. Many others chose to go as well. I did not believe it when Dragon follow allowed Falcon's group to leave so easily. I discovered why. Dragon had the ship burned, leaving them all to be eaten by the wolves. Dead husband? Mine husband, Carvel, died when Dragon took a group of men in search of gold. Only Dragon returned. He told a story of how they were attacked by the wolves, but he lied. I did not find the truth until a short while ago when Dragon drunkenly boasted of killing Carvel and the others. That was when I ran away. Uh, you ran away, you say? Yes, I could not stay here with the men, with the man who murdered mine husband. I went deep into the woods, but Dragon's lackeys found me and brought me back. Now they watch me closely, but not closely enough. Uh, wolves, you say? Surely thou hast heard them. With every cry thou canst hear that they, how they hunger for our flesh. Tell me about the settlement. A year ago, a group of us left by ship and came to the Northlands. We were in search of the gold and precious gems that are said to fill this land. Our original camp was to the south, but we had no luck there, and we made our way to this place. Once here, Dragon seized control. We've had to, we had to do his bidding or suffer the consequences. Uh, what kind of consequences? There were beatings and other things. I would rather not talk about that. All right, let's change the subject. And what shall we speak of? Tell me about Dragon. I feared that no one could save me from Dragon, for he is invincible. Uh, save? But that is before thou didst come here. Thou must save me from this devil dragon. Wait, I just got here. You don't know anything about me, and now you're asking me for help? You're saying that I can do the saving? How do you know? Uh, I thought you said he was invincible anyway. He cannot be harmed by blade or knife, nor have any, nor by any magic that I have seen. Whatever he had, he and his expedition found, it hath given him unimaginable power. Uh, cannot be harmed. Tell me about this. I've been thinking about this for some time. Perhaps Dragon cannot can be defeated by something that doth not actually bring him bring harm to him. Hmm, interesting. Thou could treat an arrow with the plant from plant that is called King Savior. Uh an arrow? An arrow thusly treated would put anyone stricken by it in a deep sleep, dost thou not see? The arrow would not harm him, but it would allow the herbal medicine to take effect. This would give us the chance to find and steal the source of Dragon's power. Unless we do this, I am doomed to be a slave. What is this King's Savior plant? According to legend, the plant is found in the deepest and most dangerous part of the forest. Only one man can help thee. The Forest Master could guide thee to, the, to King's Savior. Well, we've heard of this Forest Master person. But beware him. He possesses strange powers. Tell me about this Forest Master. His name is Morgrim. His face is horribly scarred, yet I do not fear him the way I fear Dragon. Morgrim is a strange man, foreign in some way I cannot explain. Oh, maybe he's not from this world. But he is the only one who hath treated me kindly since Carvel was murdered. I stayed with him a short while after I ran away. His dwelling place lies far southwest of here, in a grove of silverleaf trees. Perhaps he shall dine to aid thee. Uh, tell me about his strange powers. I cannot say what they were for he was careful to never let me see any such display. 
but thou wilt feel his power if thou dost meet him. Take care that thou dost not anger him. Okay. Uh, let's change the subject again. All right, goodbye. Do not forget me. Some dried meat. There is nothing of importance. There's a lot of thread. She's got bales of wool, and why did that door close? Whoops. So we do have some arrows there, which I suppose are, is good. And there's a set of shears if we wanted them, which we don't need them, but... Uh, we've got a book, Guide to Knighthood. I believe we have read that. We may not be getting too many more books. Well, we should get some, uh... Uh, serpent books. The Art of Field Dressing. Warriors of Fortune Quarterly. The Adventurer's Guidebook. I'm not sure if we've read this one. For you men who are of stern, who are stern of heart and gifted in the ways of weapons of steel, fortunes more mightier than you can dream of lie in your near future. All you must do is read the secrets held within these pages, and you will be on the way to riches. Enter into mysteries that have baffled men through the ages, with rewards greater than those of today's kingdoms. Come, adventure and gold. Come, adventure and gold are on your horizon. Um. I do feel like we have read this one. Yeah, I believe we have read that one. Uh, Veteran's Guide to Weapons and Armor. And there was a guy wandering around here, so let's talk to him. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hello. Speaking to me. I do not believe we have met. My name is Dragon. I am lord of all the land that I survey. He's got coins there in front of him. Shouldn't you be running an empire in an old NES game that's uh, really, really good? At present, I am hard at work fulfilling mine appointed destiny. Speaking of which, go watch mine. Or Bobo's. Bobo just started one. Conversing with thee is nothing but a useless distraction from achieving that end. Uh, to me about being a lord. I am the master of the great northern forest, and none can dispute it. And if thou shouldst ever speak to a disfigured cripple named Morgrim, and I would recommend against that. Pay no mind to what he may say. Morgrim is an evil and depraved man. Thou shouldst avoid him like the plague. This is the only this is the one and only piece of friendly advice I shall give to thee. Uh, what is your destiny? I was born a pauper's son. My father was a rancid beggar man who lived on the in the dirt of the road. I hated it as I hated him. You're a knight now, though. But there was one thing he always told me. He told me that one day I would be a rich and powerful man. I believe this is my destiny. When I was still a lad, I stole his near empty coin purse and sought my fortune. I have acquired naught but half of my legacy, though I already have the power. Uh, tell me about the power. Is it the power of Grayskull? I need not bore thee with the details of how I learned of this power. Suffice it to say that I cannot die. Well, we'll have to fix that. Thou wouldst do well to consider that a warning. Do not think of stealing my gold, for it is thee who shall lose thy life. I cannot die because I am destined to become wealthy. Herd and Ivor work the mines night and day. Barrel cooks and cleans. They are good workers. They shall make me wealthy. So, in other words, you are a slave driver. <coughs> uh, tell me about your fortune. It was one year ago that I led my band of men to the spot. We had all heard the tales of gold and fabulous gems that could be found here. We came by ship, the Emerald Lady. As we planned to settle here, they all brought their wives and children. For, for months we suffered through bad luck. Then one of the miners made an important discovery. That was before I went on the hunting expedition. Uh, but... Ah, I am ahead of myself. It hath been too long since I have had a fresh face to converse with. Damned distraction. Uh, warning, you say? If we ever come into conflict over the gold that I know lies somewhere in this land, I shall kill thee dead without an ounce of regret. Really? Uh, suffered? For three months we toiled near the site of our original landing, but we found nothing. It made the men so discouraged that they nearly surrendered. At last we moved camp and came here. 
discovery. One of the men, a fellow by the name of Hamlin, discovered a, go a nugget of gold as large as my thumb. Was he a violinist, perhaps? It was not far from our present location. Rest his soul. Hunting expedition, you say? Not long after the first signific significant find, we had planned a great feast as a celebration. I led a group of hunters into the forest to hunt for game. We were attacked by a vicious pack of wolves. Only I survived to make it back to camp. It was then that I discovered my power. But the failed expedition was a bad omen. Soon my men were divided and our group fell into rebellion. Tell me about them being divided. A man named Falcon dis declared himself the leader of a group of dissenters that was comprised of nearly half of our number. He was a man of exceedingly weak character. He suggested that we return home penniless without a single piece of treasure. I thought you said you found a nugget as large as your thumb. All because a few of the women and children had a difficult time of it in the wilderness. Well, all that is the past, and there is nothing one can do for the dead. And we have the treasure. Tell me about this rebellion. Simple disobedience, really. Oh, yes, and someone cut Hamlin's throat and stole his gold. I do not know who did it. It was you. It was you, wasn't it? Well, yes, of course. Wait, no, no, it was not me. After this, most of the men chose to leave. So what was I to do? I gave them their fair share of the gold that we had found and sent them back to the ship with my blessings. They were led by the weakling falcon. After they left, I never saw them again. Ah, well. But we were soon to hear the best part. Goodbye. Interesting. Do not return. I will return. Alright, so we need to find this forest master fellow. And let's see if we can find the uh, the original camp as well. Alright, what's after me? Uh, snake. Uh, who are you? Pardon me? I'm not a spy! Who the hell are you? I do not know who you are. Well, whatever. Well, you're not hostile, so... Alright, we're out of the forest. Good. Good day. Um, yes? You, uh... You won't do anything. Okay. Uh, what's coming after me now? Is it something from the swamp? It's probably something from the swamp. Hey, a pig that's not attacking us. Amazing. Huh, there's some wood. Hey! I'll take that. There's a bunch of pieces of wood. Oh, hello, wolf. Hi, wolves. Well, I guess we found the uh, other the other members of the expedition. Do you have anything on you? Nope. Do you have anything on you? Well, he got brained good. There's a book here. Brigio's Book of Astonishing Things. Um, yes, that's... We've read that. Ah, white potions. Um, I can never remember which one is carrying my potions. So we'll give them to you, then. You can carry that bale of wood. Carry that arrow. There's nothing in those. There's trash in that. Sorely tempted to take that. Get back my, uh, um... My hold of holding that uh, I had in, uh, Ultima 7. That British stole from me. Bastard. British steals everything good in my life. I'm taxing the realm for his benefit, and he just goes and steals everything from me. It's terrible. Well, let's kill some more, uh... Jesus, a lot of, uh... Alligators. Uh, guys? What the hell are you guys killing now? Okay, are you done now? Fighting is an art. 
believe we've read that before. Uh, there's nothing of significance in there. What does this book say? Journal. Day 17. Everyone is overjoyed that we have actually reached the northern mar marches, including myself. I look forward to settling camp and finding treasure. Day 22. We were forced to kill a pair of wolves near the encampment. Day 28. The men are upset that no gold hath been found. However, I remain confident of our venture. Day 40. Finding more wolves and gold. Day 41. Gold at last! Day 45. Women and children are finding gold nuggets. How exciting this is! How exciting! This is fabulous! Tis finally paying! Day 69. More, more have been eaten alive. Wolves. More wolves. Men behaving like wolves. Worse than wolves. They are after our gold. For them, life is suddenly worthless. How could they value a nugget more than its true worth? Day 108. No one can be trusted. Who will be the next target? Hopefully I will survive and my gold will not be stolen. Day 121. Something horrible happened to Hamlin. He was found with his throat slit, and of course his gold was missing. This worthless gold that he hath painstakingly gathered killed him. So this is what it hath come to. Gold thirsty and bloodthirsty bastards. Day 127. I have finally found a vein of gold from whence I retrieved a small quantity with my pick. Day 148 to 149. I lay awake in my bedroll all night until dawn. I cannot seem to sleep. I cannot seem, cannot seem to be able to sleep. Too many angry thoughts disturbing my mind. At daybreak, I rose in a state of exhaustion. Day 167. More men are fighting amongst themselves. I am so weary. Is this what I wanted? The encampment is split into factions. Now I will cease writing and rest by the fire, gathering much needed strength for tomorrow. Day 183. Dragon betrayed us. Who would have thought it? I think bitterly of his treachery. The ship is burnt. We are doomed. The howling is getting closer. So I guess that's the uh, um, Journal of Falcon. Well, none of these guys have anything on them. It's very disappointing. Well, I believe their encampment buildings are up here. Got another uh, book, but uh, we've read that one. No such thing as fairies. Uh, what is that? There's a nightstand with a music box in it. Ooh, magic arrows. And a hammer. Alright, uh, I think there's a total of four buildings here, so let's go looking for the others. Here's one. This appears to just... They brought a cask with them? Jeez. Oh, hey, well, there's a, uh, a spinning wheel. Well, let's go ahead and grab this as well. A flower sifter. Nothing else around here. And one last building filled with foxes. Oh, burst arrows. So there's some wine decanter, a bottle, there's a bow, nothing else really of interest. Uh, actually... Oh, huh. some mandrake root. Let's go ahead and grab that. Well, I haven't seen uh, one of those hollow trees in a while. I'm not sure if they're... Oh, no, no, I actually see another one. Let's see if I can find it. Ha! Oh, wow! 23 burst arrows. There's a decorative sword in that uh, tree. Uh, let's see. Anything, any other hollow trees to the north of us? I don't think there are. And I could very easily be missing some. But I think there might be some to our west. Yes, there are a couple. All right, let's uh, head back down to that first one we found. And if we head straight over... Uh, what's after us? Oh. Pigs are after us. Great. Another hollow tree. Unfortunately, nothing was in this one. 
Uh, let's see. Alright, there should be another one. Oh, hello! I was not expecting to see a reaper here. There we go, another tree. Ah, nothing in this one. Very disappointing. Well, we should find something else if we head north here. Hazard's Lodge. Trapper. Stand fast, Trapper. What? Damn thee! What the hell? Ow! Um, guys? There we go. Well, there's a key. We'll take that. Why the hell did these guys just attack me like that? They don't have anything. Did they think that I was coming to steal their fur pelts or something? I have no idea. Whoops. Didn't mean to take the table. I'll, I'll, I'll put it back. It's, it's okay. We can just pick up the... Uh, there we go. There we go. Well, I could take the ham, but we do we don't really need the uh food. There's a bear corpse there. Dispose of blood and parts outside. Why the hell did these guys attack me? I've got a scroll here. To me fellow trappers, greetings to you. I will be heading north when y when you be reading this message. Make sure you guard the cave and protect our goods well. If I find out find out you let some ne'er do well steal our goods. I'll personally skin every one of you bastards, hang your hide on me walls, and eat your black hearts for supper. By the way, don't be looking for the wonderful glass sword that appeared after the last storm, for I took it with me. I'll be heading back to the north. This fancy sword should be mighty handy for slaying some dragon or other fa fearsome beast. Slaughter a beast in mine honor. Hazard. That's my glass sword, you bastards! What is this right here? Garbage, okay. It's locked. Can we pick it? Oh. Bear cloak, bear cloak, wolf cloak, snow leopard cloak, and guani cloak. So we... C I really didn't need to buy the uh, stuff that I uh, bought. There's a... The, the cow head trophy, I think it has a bell on it. Let's take a look at this uh, um, book. Hazard's Ledger. Pelts. Sales by customer, expressed in monetary. Summer, Glendor, three pelts, 90. Miri, one pelt, 50. Tranch, six pelts, 180. Falco, three pelts, 90. Autumn, Celia of Monitor, four pelts, 88. Volden of Fawn, two pelts, 90. Early Winter, Tornaldo of Moonshade, three pelts. Never met a uh, Tornaldo, 1,035. Yelinda of Fawn, four pelts, 138. Why did Yelinda buy pelts? Jorvan of Fawn, one pelt, 34. Hard Freeze, Marston of Monitor, 4 pelts, 88. Brendan of Monitor, 2 pelts, 69. Feta Biblio of Moonshade, 1 pelt, 34. Late Winter, Celia of Monitor, 2 pelts, 63. Tarisio of Moonshade, 4 pelts, 140. Early Spring, Celia of Monitor, 1 pelt, 35. Late Spring, Carl of Monitor, Carl, I don't remember Carl. 1 pelt, 25. Garth of Fawn, 2 pelts, 79. Marnock, 1 pelt, 35. Interesting. Uh, we've got some more uh, armored boots if we wanted them. These people are slobs. Jeez. Twas trapped. That's okay. You trapped a jar of garbage, a fish skeleton. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. And a book. Lord British's Tyrannical Adventure. That's what you trapped. Oh, seriously, did I just get killed? <sighs> Leave Monk Isle. Holy crap! No way! Uh-uh. 
Nope. I'm not having that. I'm getting back here real fast. Alright, where is... Did everything respawn in here? I bet everything respawned in here. Oh, you're not dead yet. There we go, let's kill the pig. Stupid traps. Well, I'll take the lockpicks. Uh, looks like that's about it. I don't see anything else. They put a trophy of a snake up. And one of the giant bees from, uh, um... Wait. Oh, there's a sign here that I missed. Leave animals downstairs. It's hard to tell if anyone paid any attention to him there. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Alright, let's see if I can find any more of these, uh, hollow trees. Uh, yes, I see a couple, actually. If we head down this way... Hi, dear. Here's one, which has nothing. Here's another, which has Falari. I'll take the Falari. Do I see any more? Yes, I do. Excellent. Alright, where is it? There it is. Anything in you? No. Dang it! I want more goodies. Give me more goodies, game. Uh, let's see... Any more? Not immediately. Uh, I do see something on the uh, mountainside that uh, might be of interest. Let's see if we can find that. Aha! That tree is uh, cleverly disguising a cave mouth. Which has, what is that, a gem? Well, I can't see my, uh... Oh, a, uh, a magician's wand. Uh, it looks like someone exploded here. A couple more gems, I'll go ahead and take those for now. Uh, 32 guilders. Alright, so I'm guessing that that's what, uh, um, what the trap got someone. 34 magic arrows, you can take those, Shimino. Uh, some food. Oh, more, more of those berries. Uh, I've got wine skins and a couple potions. Let's grab those. Ow. How are we doing? Well, it could be better. So let's fix that. Alright, let's see. What else do we have? There is something directly to the south of us, but I think I'm going to hold off on that until the next episode. Um, I think there might be some more... Uh, hidden stuff for us to find if we uh, travel all the way up the edge of this uh... oh hey an anvil 
we could totally uh, forge some weaponry here. Let's go ahead and kill the uh, the Reaper. Yeah, Reapers don't have anything. Giant mushroom in the forest here. Some wolves. We'll destroy them. Oh, King Savior. Um, the rats are going kind of nuts. All right, so uh, here's the King Savior that uh, um, we're going to need to find. But I kind of want to talk to someone before we. Uh, I mean, we want to talk to m that Morgrim guy before we uh, um, pick it up, just in case he tells us to do something specific with it. I'm not sure what else is up here. Where are we? We're lost, Avatar. No, we're not. Ooh, what the hell was that? Oh, it was like a black boxing. So there's a dead guy on the uh, water. What the hell is that? A rock. Whoa, what the hell was that? Well, we've got a uh, boat here. No one on, uh, nothing, no equipment there, but uh, one of them did have an onk. Um... It is apparently still on fire. It is not a uh, completely put together boat. I believe the gangplank is blocked. Well, that's just rude. Well, I want this might have been a uh Well, no, there's an Ankh amulet. I don't know. I like this board over the guy's body. Anyway, um, I thought there was an item up here, but I guess not. Uh, I'm going to have to sort out uh, the things that I have picked up, though. I'll do that off-camera, and uh, when we get back, um, we will uh, go see the Forest Master. And hopefully he will tell us something about the, uh, um, uh, what's it called, the, uh, the King Savior. Anyway, see you all in the next episode.